The video you're about to watch is part of a free Udemy course called TypeScript with Modern React. That's right, it's completely free. So if you do enjoy this video, be sure to check out the description where the link for this course will be. Hey guys, so in our next project, we're going to make use of something called context from React. Now I'm going to take the time in this video to quickly explain what that is and two ways to use it. We're going to use this platform called Code Sandbox to quickly whip up a Create React app project. As you saw in our previous video, it takes a while to set up and even install Create React app and Code Sandbox makes it a bit easier. So because I've already created an account for this, I have linked it up with my GitHub account. I'm going to close this incognito window and show you what it looks like once you've created an account. All right, I'm going to create a quick React Sandbox. And as you can see, it has a boilerplate for you and the layout looks a bit similar to VS Code. So before we start, I'm going to create another file called app.js. It looks a bit cramped at the moment. So what I'm gonna try and do is get rid of as many windows as we don't need. So I'm going to open app. So it stays here and I'm going to open index, keep it here. And because of that, I don't need this anymore. So I'm going to hide that and it looks a bit bigger now. I'm going to reduce this size here and we can see more. Okay, so first off, we are, we are going to create some, a few function components. So first we're going to import the React from that. And we're going to create one called parent and one called child. So the way context works is it makes it easier for parents to pass data down to child components. So you can have a one parent component passing data down to a lot of children. But for this example, we're just gonna have one parent and one child. So what this parent is gonna do is have some text in here, um, random text. And what we want to do is pass this text down into this child component. So imagine if these two components were in different folders, imagine if we had multiple components. Context makes it easier for us to do that. So first let's create a context. Um, we are going to use, we're going to call it store for now. And to create a context, you have to run react dot create context, please have a planetary. Context returns two things. It returns a consumer and provider. And what we're going to do is use some um, object destructuring to import that into variables. So we have a provider variable and a consumer variable that basically is the same as the provider and the consumer provided by React Context. So now what we're going to do is we're going to return um, our provider in our component. And our provider is basically going to encapsulate our child. So we're going to get some props and use props children so that if we encapsulate anything, it passes into here. You notice if we save a file in code sandbox, it formats it with prettier. It's got different settings from what we're used to, but that's absolutely fine. It's giving us these green underlines because these are not currently used, but don't worry about that too much. Now we are going to pass a value property and that will have our text inside it. So this is what will be passed down. Anything that gets put into the value attribute will be passed down into whatever you want to pass it into. Okay, so this function is pretty much done. Sorry, this um, component. I'll export them both because we're going to need them at some point in our index file. And now let's create a child. So the child will return our consumer. You've probably got the picture now, but the provider provides the, provides the data and the consumer consumes it. Okay, so we need to have a function inside our, inside our, inside our um, component here which will basically take a argument of anything we want. In our case, I'm going to call it text. 
and that will display our text in any format you want. So this is the text that is going to be passed into here. Okay. And that should be all the code we need. I'll save it to format it again to pass this data into here. So if you go into our index, we can now import our parent and child from our app file. And we don't need this anymore. We're going to make use of our parent and child by having a parent here. And of course, having our child inside it. And as you can see, our random text is passed from our parent to our child. This is awesome. Now, we can make this a bit simpler by using hooks. So we're going to use the use producer hook to eliminate our need for a consumer and eliminate our need to pass everything down as a callback function. So the use hook needs to be inside the child. Sorry, the use context hook needs to be inside the child. We will call it hook. And we're going to use react use context. Now we're going to need to change the way we've written this at the moment to to have it not have it not destructure so that we can call the context on its own. So we can just change this to store. So we can pass all of this into here. And we need to change this to store provider. And because of we're using the hook, we no longer need to have a consumer. So this should just be a general div for now. And we also don't need to have this random callback function. So we can get rid of that. Get rid of this. Sorry. Get rid of that. Okay, and now you've guessed it, we're going to pass our hook into here. And voila. So our hook has essentially got the data in value and it's displayed it here. Now this can be whatever you want. This can be an object. We can have that display something like text and we can have hook.text and it should show the text here. We're going to make use of this technique a lot in our next video so I highly recommend you go through this video again make sure it makes sense and in our next video you'll understand what's going on. The video you've just watched is part of a free Udemy course called TypeScript with Modern React. That's right it's completely free. So if you did enjoy the video, be sure to look in the description and find the link for this course.